Okay, so we do have Duke out of the package. Right there, just so you know. <laughs> but I wanted to go on to uh, why I decided to open the other Duke and not the Duke that I have here. Uh, some paint applications that I'm noticing is just like the uh, Toys R Us exclusive Spirit, uh, Duke has a knee pad, uh, just one. It, it's possible that uh, the Toys R Us uh, exclusive Spirit has the same body or even at least the lower legs of Duke. But hopefully in this camera, or if you guys are lucky enough not to uh, find any that are like this, but I found one that he has four rivets on his uh, knee pad there. And there's a little spot of gray paint that should not be there. And I always open my best figure uh, first. The other thing I would say is um, on this figure, there's a little bit of paint up here missing out of the um, headband. Or at least it looks like it. But it could be, you know, explained again like I did with the beachhead figure. It's just a rip in his uh, um, headband. Uh, so I can excuse that if you really, really have to. But thankfully this figure that I got um, is perfectly painted. There isn't an extra spot of paint on him. He's got the four rivets. His uh, headband is well painted. Um, so let's go ahead and get Duke's accessories out. We have Duke's backpack right here. And thankfully, this is one thing that, that seems to have uh, taken from the Rise of Cobra line. There is a little indition, indention uh, right here for the um, flashlight to go in there. So rather cool. And then it looks like he's got a little um, backpack um, straps. Now it remains to be seen if they are able to be used or not, or if they're just added detail, but rather nice that they did that. Um, but yeah, so there's his rather large but awesome backpack. He comes with a flashlight that is taped in there. So that's nice. You need one of those when going through the jungle. He comes with this gun, which I believe is the one that they talk about in the back. The A... MG-2J weapon system and I just noticed that it has a removable clip on I'm guessing the left hand side so there's the ammo clip right there and there it is out of it and I think those that are able to watch my videos in order. I know I definitely have my best buddy, best friend, uh, Dave of One of Three Nights. It always is so nice to come visit my videos and watch them all, so that's really nice. And I will say that right now, Dave, I plan on getting back to you. Uh, of course, I'm sure you understand that I've just been rather busy with trying to find all these figures. So then we have a pistol here, but it looks like it's got a little tiny laser scope underneath it right here. And then take Duke out of the pa uh, package. And here's his machine gun. I'm going to take it off even though it's held with a uh, little plastic band. His hand slid out, but that's okay. Goes back in. 
Um, that's kind of different. The way that they've uh, painted, or not uh, painted, but sculpted his uh, hand here, it goes almost all the way back. So that's kind of different. There's no real knee, or not knee, but elbow. So uh, maybe that's better articulation, but... <laughs> Or you could pretend like he broke his arm or something, I guess. But just something I just noticed while fiddling with him. So people are kind of talking about how small and skinny his arms are. But um, I, I can look past it. It's okay. It is kind of one of those things that does make you kind of go, hmm, what were they thinking? But anyway, so here's Duke. Uh, very, very cool. Lots of little different camouflage uh, all over his arms. Uh, I don't know that I said it here, but with the card art, we have Duke, and they kind of have the throwback to the 1960s uh, G.I. Joe, where they put the scar on Duke, or uh, the original G.I. Joe figure. So here's a scar on Duke, and then also they put it on uh, the figure, it's rather light, but it is there. Um, he's got kind of yellowish, brownish uh, hair. There's the back of the figure. There's the front of the figure. Um, he does have the G.I. Joe, new G.I. Joe logo right there on his left, uh, yeah, looks like left chest. Um, so that's nice that they, it's in a different spot, at least on my figure, but at least they show it there and they were able to get it on the figure, so that's nice. Um, he comes with, I'm hoping a machete, because you've got to have a machete when going through the jungle. Try and get it out. Eh, I don't know that, it would have been nice if it looked more like a machete, that it's close, but I'm used to them being a lot larger in the front. But nice that he has that. Good use of um, equipment that he comes with. Trying to look and see if there's anywhere for his uh, guns to uh, go on him. But it does not look like there is. But anyway, so as long as we can find it. What happened to his flashlight? There it is. It was in the backpack. <laughs> but yeah, so we wanted to show you that uh, there is the spot for his flashlight. And this is another one where I wish I could pat the person who's designing these little added features uh, to the backpacks and making them usable. Um, you could even put his uh, pistol or wherever it is. All these things are falling behind my camera. But yeah, so there's the pistol. Put his backpack on. Or at least try to. It's a rather long um, backpack pig. Alright, so this one's all jumpy jumpy, but, uh, thankfully I just noticed that we get 15 minutes, so I originally didn't plan for this to be 15 minutes, but with all the mistakes and the edits and stuff, um, it just ended up being that way. Uh, but finally got the backpack on. It is a little hard because it's soft and the peg is a little hard, but obviously when not filming, it probably is a lot easier. Um, then the other thing, of course, I wanted to mention, which is a cool thing that somebody else point, pointed out, is the paint on this figure, at least, is pretty good. Um, there's all these little flecks of black, well, not black, but brown, all these little... You know, besides this camouflage, there's all these little, like, almost like he jumped in a puddle of mud or something, and it splashed him. And there's, or even going through the bushes in the jungle, 
uh, they had dirt or whatever on them, and he's rubbed against them, and he's got the little flecks of uh, dirt. And then also, if you look at his pants and possibly even his shoes, they make it look like he's been wading or walking through uh, swamp, dirty swamp water. So definitely wanted to point those out. Um, all kinds of little pouches and stuff. Just, you know, new guys, so I don't know yet that I, he's really going to be my duke. Um, but, you know, obviously with this jungle theme, it makes sense for him to be duke. Um, then, of course, we wanted to talk about uh, the little pamphlet or poster that you get. Uh, this is the Wave 2 Vehicles. Uh, in October, I believe, we'll get the Cobra Ice Cutter, which makes sense for it to come out more towards the end of the year, you know, getting into the colder weather um, for those that <laughs> are brave enough to go out in the snow and play with their Joes. Um, and uh, then we also have um, Snow Job. I'm still trying to find a second one of him. Hopefully we get lucky today and find him. Uh, got the transmission from Snowjob that says Cobra Ice Cutter vehicles are approaching from every direction. Intel suggests that Destro is on the scene, so be on the alert. Suit up, man your stations, and above all, keep your cool in transmission. And you can't really tell from this one, but just like with Duke, supposedly when we get this uh, Destro, it won't be the same Destro from uh the rise of cobra they will get a new destro head as well and then you got all the wave one and wave two figures so there's destro right there so at least if you're thinking about u.s climate it makes sense uh, why they would release certain figures um at different times um so i think that's pretty much all I can say, um, but yeah, so rather good. I think right now, um, even though I try and stay away from reviews, I would say that um, it's kind of a tie right now for for a Beachhead and Duke um, for which one I'm most happy to have because they both uh, serve their purpose and they both have so many positives. That's all I can see so far with uh, the Pursuit of Cobra uh, line. Just lots and lots of positives and lots of good stuff. So anyway, uh, well, I did want to show that. Um, it is kind of cool how in the back you don't just have a blue background or uh, a red or an orange or whatever, but they actually have the little continents and it's a little computer screen map looking thing. So that's cool. I think the only other thing they could have done, but it probably would have added cost to the figures, is if they, you know, if this is a jungle thing, it would have been nice if they, like, uh, put a little um, target thing or something to say where it is that Duke is or whatever, but maybe that would limit too much of the imagination. Um, so anyway, hopefully I've kept it under the 15 minutes that we're now allowed to have, and I will do my best not to make sure they're always 15 minutes, but with this one, I definitely needed it. There's so many things to talk about with these figures. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.